To a school board vote tonight that left board members with some tough decisions to make. Anthony Montalto is in studio now. Now, what does the decision mean for the school district and for folks pocketbooks, Anthony? Right, guys. So this whole tax bill vote was based on mills. That's a unit to determine how much you pay in property taxes. And it works out this way. One mill is one dollar for every thousand of your property's value. Now, in Georgia, only 40 cents on each dollar is taxed. So the owner of a hundred thousand dollar home, a one mill difference is about forty dollars. Now, tonight, the school board decided to roll back the millage rate or reduce it. So the Board of Education this evening voted uh, for a full rollback of our millage rate. Uh, the other two options on the table uh, were no rollback at all and a partial rollback. So that means most homeowners in Bibb County will pay about the same in property taxes this year as they did last year. Now they could have raised the rate, meaning virtually every homeowner would pay more this year. And they also considered keeping it the same, leading to bill increases and potential staffing cuts. Now board members felt this was not the time to raise taxes, but that could also come with some potential consequences. Now Sims says this decision could lead to eventual school closures and staffing cuts. As board members debated what to do tonight, many said they didn't like any of the potential options, but some discussed the potential for future school consolidation. Board member Lisa Garrett Boyd told her colleagues some schools didn't qualify for crucial state funding this year because of low enrollment. Now Sims says it's too early to say which schools could close or how many, but he says they do need to figure out how to make some spending cuts. But we're taking an across the board look uh, starting this school year to continue to look at ways we can decrease costs uh, while hoping in the future that we can increase revenues. Now, Sims says they want to use future revenues to become more competitive with other nearby districts and bring in top talent to teach. Back to you guys. All right, thanks very much, Anthony. Since board members lowered the tax rate, tonight's decision is final. District spokeswoman Stephanie Hartley says if they do need to close schools in the future, there will be several public hearings before the board takes any action.